Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on live stream music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, coming again today, you're very, very welcome. Um, I trust you enjoyed my last video on Jeremy Camp. And we looked at uh, just the concept of belief and spirituality and how that's needed uh, sometimes uh, when life is tricky. So I trust you found that one encouraging. Well, we're going into the rap world today. Uh, this uh, channel goes into all sorts of genres. So 1969, Los Angeles, O'Shea Jackson Sr. was born. And uh, he was brought up, who grew up in a bit of a high crime area. And this would be something that would actually inform his career quite a lot. We had all sorts of stuff going on in the 80s when this kid was growing up. We had corruption in the police force. We had the FBI doing interesting things. We had uh, the AIDS epidemic. Everything was just really happening in the 80s. And um, this very much informed this guy's career. Um, he uh, went to school in Woodland Hills, which is some 40 miles from where he lived because he needed to go somewhere safe to school because his, his area was not safe. And it was actually during his schooling that he was challenged and encouraged to start writing raps. And that would very much keep going through his career. O'Shea Jackson Sr. is known as Ice Cube. So this is where we're going today. He actually did uh, end up graduating from um, with a diploma in architectural drafting. He thought, well, if this music thing doesn't work, I'll go back into that. Well, he didn't need to do that. In 1986, at the age of 16, uh, he became in a band called CIA and then a band called NWA. Now, NWA uh, are very, very significant in that, that they um, pretty much invented the gangster rap genre. And it really, really great. All the way forward to 2016, that, that particular band was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We've got some pretty significant names, Dr. Dre being one of them, and uh, Ice Cube being another. Ice Cube was um, was the lead rapper in this band, and also the main ghost songwriter. And uh, so because of that, um, you know, he was actually able to reflect on his growing up and how violent and yucky things were around where he lived. Um, some of his uh, lyrics, there's lots of F words in there. And so when we look at uh, Straight Out of Compton, 1988, we've got the official clip of that one below. Just be aware um, that um, there's a lot of swearing in here. And I think sometimes the world can be just so horrible and yucky and, and not good that, um, you know, sometimes we just need to let it all out and, and make very much a public commentary about how dangerous the world can be, you know. Often we can go through life thinking that life is pretty good and pretty exciting, everything's pretty, pretty rosy, but that's not the case for everybody. And I think this is where I want to go to that, and that's just sometimes people need to just call it out and say it for how it is. Hey, you know, it's not good where I'm living. It does all sorts of things, things to my mind. It does all sorts of things to the way that, I'm, way that I, I grew up. All sorts of, of, of things around... You know, that life is not easy. You know, we do get into some of this stuff ourselves because we're just surrounded by it the whole time. So we do have, we do need commentary from people within this world, I believe, to actually um, enable us to get an understanding of all facets of human existence. Because for some people, it's not so good. Um, Ice Cube kind of left... Um, uh, NWA, I think it's a bit of a combination of some financial stuff happening, but also I think he wanted to get away from the, from the just from the, uh, the complete angst of this particular band, and he went solo. Um, in 1990, I released the album America's Most Wanted. Um, it's a bit of a dig at a show that was out, a TV show that was out at the same time called America's Most Wanted, having a bit of a dig, a bit of a parody of, of <laughs> come on, why do you think these people are wanted in the first place? Do you guys actually understand um, uh, how um, how you know these people are brought up and just what's surrounding them? In fact, I remember watching a, a particular video of it was actually in a prison. And it was called the Compassion Circle. 
Now, if you only had one parent, take a step into the circle. If you're beat up as a kid, take a step into the circle. Pretty well everybody in the uh, prison was taking steps forward. So this is very much, you know, in that sort of that sort of life, there's not much more that you can do really um, to actually try and make a difference. Yeah, that's just what you're surrounded by. It's pretty, pretty hard. America's Most Wanted, uh, I've, um, undertones of good ghetto life, Drug abuse, racism, and poverty. This is very much Ice Cube's um, growing up. We've got a couple of songs off this particular album. We've got Who's the Mac, Official, and America's Most Wanted. Again, as we look at um, the, the, the harder type of life, and that is, you know, where life is not good, we need people from within that world to actually inform us about how tricky it is. And there's nothing like rap to do that. And as I said before, NWA was pretty much a, a pioneer of gangster rap. Gangster rap just got this whole um, vibe about it, this whole angry vibe about it. Hey, come on, guys, we need to stand up and take note of this stuff. And I'm going to bas bash your door down to get my point across. And Ice Cube has not um, been um, ashamed to do that. In fact, um, the next album, Death Certificate, 1991, there's just something about some of these these um, album titles. We've got America's Most Wanted, we've got Death Certificate, 1991, official clip of No Vaseline. This is considered one of the most, um, well, let's just say, dishing it out on someone else's songs of all time, uh, having a direct dig at NWA here. Now, um, the good story about NWA is that um, Ice Cube did get, has kind of been involved with these guys ever since. Because, uh, um, see, NWA has had a couple of, um, did have a couple of studio albums. And I've already said inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Ice Cube was one of those that was inducted. And, and I think um, No Vaseline was just saying, oh, look, you know, because... Um, people thought that Ice Cube had sold out a little bit by leaving NWA, and so he was a bit of a dick at everybody. Hey, look, I've got a recording career happening here. I'm actually going okay. Sometimes we need to defend ourselves. Now, and if it is that, um, you know, it's a very public falling out, sometimes it's got to be a public defending. And what what's the best way for an artist to do that? Through his craft. And so no Vaseline. <laughs> Very much implies, hey, look, it's pretty rough right now. There's nothing smooth going on right now. So I'm just going to call it out for what it is. And to be able to call things out for what they are, sometimes what is needed. You know, we try to get on with people sometimes. We try to uh, try and smooth things over. We try to get things moving. But sometimes these things just need to be said. Uh, human existence. Humans can push things sometimes to the, you know, to, to a place that just should never be pushed. And the other way to push back against lies, potentially, is to push back like this. And so, that's typical. We've got an official version of that one. We then go to 1992 and Predator. Uh, we've got the song, a little bit of a nicer song, It Was A Good Day. We've got a live version of that below. Um, very much, if, if, it, if there could be a good day, what would it look like? How would the sun be? How would the clouds be? How would the grass be? How would, what would I be doing? How would I be feeling inside? You know, it's good to imagine and to picture these things if we can. You know, for some people, it's a very challenging to actually um, try to see life through through that way. But, you know, we've got a live version of it. It was a good day and a pretty, pretty amazing to see Ice Cube doing what he does. Um, as I said, NWA is a pioneer in the gangster rap genre, um, very, very significant genre even today. So very, very significant, these guys, in many, many ways. Just with, with two albums, pretty, pretty cool. Um, to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and so we've got a bit of a, I mean, a bit of a, I suppose, information clip about them, and then the induction themselves. Um, it's just good to watch that and see the significance that rap and this particular rap is just, I suppose, uh, just informing us about the other side of life. And to see these guys inducted some or oh, 30 years later, it's pretty, pretty good. So I got the induction from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame 2016. Ice Cube, um, pretty, pretty important career, 1990 to 2018. There's been 10 studio albums, six compilation albums, 42 music videos, one EP and 27 singles, estimated to have sold 10 
million albums. For rap artists, that's pretty, pretty cool. Just, just goes to show that he has resonated with the world around him and people just kind of really have responded quite well to these guys' lyrics. He is the master Fraser, the telling it as it is sort of writer and being able to deliver it in such a way that just makes his lyrics so, so compelling. And so 10 million albums, pretty, pretty good. Um, he has, as I said, inducted into Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's received the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award as part of NWA in 2024. So on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, because Ice Cube's been involved in 41 movies from 1991 to 2023. He's directed, he's produced, he's written, and he's actually acted. I remember his scene in the movie XXX. He was pretty, pretty compelling in that movie. And so he has actually has done, had a very successful movie career as well. So it's great to give this guy a bit of a go today. So the links to those six clips in the description below. Um, and I've also included my last video from Jeremy Camp, just for someone completely different, <laughs> in the description below. Well, if this is your first time to Life Reflections Your Music, or you've come back for another video, how great to see everybody here. Thank you for the engagement we're getting. And you know, um, we're sort of sitting in the 78 subscribers, which is pretty, pretty cool. It's a little channel that could, for me, it's about quality not quantity so thank you guys for hanging around so that's it for today next time we're going to go back to australia and jessica mowboy so until then i'll catch you around bye for now